So I've been involved in Cavi since 15 years, I think, uh, with, the, oh, as yeah. you said, the inoperable patients, extremely high risk. Yes, yes. Sir. And then we now we're doing low risk patients. But in India, we have much younger patients. And yes, yes, uh, well, yeah, when there was uh, a, a demography is different. Life expectancy is yeah. uh, 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 much shorter than the uh, developed countries. Yes, uh, yes, absolutely. So how do you think uh, the choice of valve should make a difference in uh, our Indian population, balloon expandable versus uh, self Well, actually, you know, the, uh, the choice of valve, uh, uh, we don't know the, 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 the difference in durability of this valve, you know, yeah. because uh, the the durability is a very important parameter today. Yeah. So you know, we, we, we need valves with a long-term durability. But we don't know whether the, the self-expanding or the balloon expandable uh, gives different results on long-term durability. The problem is not that. I think the problem is uh, the, the selection of the, of the valve according to the anatomy and uh, according to the situation. You know. My personal choice, my personal choice is the balloon expandable. And uh, you know, you understand why. Yes. First of all, because it was the, the initial concept, you know, the protecting the coronary arteries, not covering the coronary arteries. And uh, so, in uh, my department, for example, we uh, uh, in the department of cardiology of war, we are using, uh, I would say, 80 percent of balloon expandable and 20 percent of self-expanding. And uh, you have the same kind of problem in India. You know, actually, uh, we want to protect the coronary arteries first. You yes. know, so, and we want to have. Uh, a technique which is very simple to use you know i don't like to spend a long time to make sure that the valve is well placed you know that we are catching the other commissioner uh, to re to remove it replace it you know uh, when uh, you, you cannot compare the technology in the balloon expandable you know it's done in five in yeah. five minutes and the, the, the self-expanding works well and now you know that we are dealing with a younger population you know the, the the main goal you know is to preserve the coronary access for the future and also uh, with the idea that uh, uh, we may have a structural valve deterioration after 10 or 12 years and we don't have to have any problem with the leaflets, you know. So uh, this is why, again, and uh, I am not paranoid with the balloon expandable, but it's just a kind of logical choice, you know. For the first implantation in a patient who is relatively young, uh, when you have to predict that it could have a, a structural valve deterioration in the future with a redo have necessary, you know, the, my, my third choice is uh, absolutely uh, the balloon expandable. Yeah. And, uh, the, you know, in India, you, uh, you have the MyVal, which is absolutely fantastic. We can talk about the MyVal right, because, yeah. you know, it's a balloon expandable. It's, and it's interesting, you know, because it's coming from India. And uh, I was so satisfied, you know, to see a, a balloon expandable coming from India. And, uh, and especially after having seen uh, so many patients implanted with an IVAL, you know, it's fantastic results. And I am not talking about the octa-core, which is the next generation. And, and uh, so this is absolutely great. You know, we are very fortunate to have the Indian-made uh, valve from uh, Middle Life Sciences uh, called the MyVal. And it is actually, you know, they are really innovating.